As a company, Maltex was founded in 2013, uh, and in that time it's developed two nuclear reactors. Uh, the first nuclear reactor is handled by Maltex Energy Canada. Um, there's a Canadian team. The UK team uh, is working on the flex reactor mostly. Um, it's a graphite moderated reactor um, for mass deployment to compete with and displace fossil fuels. So thermal hydraulics is the, um, the movement of fluids around the reactor and the transport of heat around the reactor. So heat is generated in our molten salt fuel. Uh, it's then transferred to the pin that the fuel is held within. Uh, and then that heat has to then be transferred to the coolant and then on to, uh, to, to do useful things. We chose SolidWorks um, because we know that it's a very popular software. It's got lots of users worldwide. Support easy to find for it, um, and we've got good support with our partners as well. It was very competitive price-wise, and uh, it's very easy to use. So the three main things that we use SolidWorks for are for general assemblies, um, so putting together a whole reactor CAD, or and ensuring that everything fits, everything is feasible to manufacture and assemble. Uh, the other reason we use it for is concept visualisation, so putting together concepts for parts and systems that we have envisaged uh, to see if they are reasonable, uh, that they are not oversized, undersized, um, impractical. And the third reason, which is the most common uh, use that we have for the software, is to create uh, analysis geometry. So if we want to do uh, CFD or sometimes mechanical analysis uh, on a part or a system, we will recreate uh, simplified geometry, usually in SolidWorks, and then we will mesh that, move it into our analytical software packages, and we will run various analyses on those. We save a lot of time and cost using the parametric modeling in SolidWorks. Having lots of linked dimensions allows us to very quickly iterate through design spaces without having to redo everything, um, which saves us a lot of time. Um, so also if we make a design change in one area, it doesn't immediately cause us to have to recad large areas of the reactor, which is uh, very time saving. Collaboration within Maltex is constant, so obviously we need to be uh, in contact with other teams. There's a lot of cross-disciplinary work, people from various backgrounds to, to work together on it to understand the full picture of what's happening. Uh, having the, the visualisation um, available is also useful um, when talking to suppliers as well because we can send them example CAD of what we think a part should be made to look like and then we can get sort of instant feedback on that from the manufacturers. SolidWorks PDM helps us keep our analysis CAD separate from our general assembly CAD or our concept CAD. It helps keep things filed in the correct places um, yeah, the ability for multiple people to work on a single assembly uh, will become vital. Another project that SolidWorks was very helpful in speeding up was uh, optimization of the lower flow grid. So the reactor has uh, a series of channels below the core which allow cold returning coolant to get to the bottom of the fuel channels um, where it starts its convection loop. So we needed to ensure that, that uh, the design of the flow channels in that area were open enough that all of our channels across the core could get good even flow. Uh, SolidWorks was very helpful for this. It allowed us to iterate rapidly through a large number of designs. Um, using the parametric modeling, we were able to um, very quickly analyze over a dozen designs. Uh, 